The National Automotive Center, bringing together private sector and military technologies to solve the dual needs of industry and defense. The NAC looked at the commercial fleet industry for ideas the Army could use. Recognizing the applicability to Army use of the commercial practice of blending used engine oil with fuel, the NAC has developed a program to investigate, test, and demonstrate the suitability of blended JP8 fuel for Army vehicles. Commercial fleets have been running on diesel fuel blended with used engine oil for nearly 20 years in some cases, with no significant adverse effects to the engines or the environment. An economic analysis, using Fort Hood as representative of the Army's oil disposal needs, documented the possibility of substantial fuel cost savings as a result of a blending program. Testing conducted at Southwest Research Institute, an EPA-recognized facility, demonstrated that emissions from a 6.2-liter Humvee engine burning a 7.5% blended fuel fell significantly below EPA requirements and, in fact, were not appreciably above the quantities found in unblended JP-8. EPA monitors hydrocarbons. EPA allows 1.3 grams hydrocarbons per horsepower hour for this engine. Under tests, both the blend and the neat JP-8 produced only 0.28 grams. EPA allows 15.5 grams carbon monoxide. Under tests, both the blend and the neat JP-8 produced only 1.8 grams. EPA allows 6 grams NOx emissions. The blend produced 2.8 grams, less than produced by NEAT JP-8 at 3.1 grams. And for particulates, EPA allows 0 0.60 grams, while the blend produced 0 0.31 grams, and the NEAT JP-8 produced 0.24 grams. EPA also monitors smoke, which is measured in percentage of opacity during three stages of engine operation, acceleration, lugging, and peak. In smoke opacity, the 7.5% blend was also significantly lower, in fact, was the same as unblended fuel. A Detroit Diesel Series 60 engine was submitted to the same tests as the Humvee engine with similar results. Blending percentage in actual vehicles is determined by the ratio of engine oil capacity to fuel tank capacity. In no case is a 7.5% blend exceeded. In most cases, it falls well below. This graph represents many of the vehicles operating at the National Training Center at Fort Irwin, California, where a six-month field demonstration of tactical vehicles operating on blend was performed with no ill effects to vehicle performance. Durability tests run at the TARDEC facility at Southwest Research on two military engines showed little or no adverse effect on engine performance. Fuel tanks in Army vehicles have the tendency to accumulate moisture and particulate matter. A blender was assembled to address this problem. In this blender, fuel from the tank passes through a filter before entering the mixing manifold. At the same time, oil is drawn from the oil sump and passes through a strainer before it is mixed with the fuel in the manifold. The blend is then pumped through yet another filter before it is returned to the fuel tank. This blender also has an automatic cutoff that shuts off the blender when all the oil has been blended. When AOAP designates an oil change, the blender is stationed next to the vehicle. The fuel out and blend in hoses are inserted into the fuel tank. The collection pan is positioned under the truck and oil is then drained from the vehicle. At this point, the blender is turned on and blending is accomplished. Blending at time of AOAP designated oil change eliminates troop handling of waste oil. It also eliminates spills, the need for segregating different liquids, and overflow problems at collection points and motor pools, thus resolving storage problems. As you have just seen, the NAC has determined that the environmentally responsible and cost-effective way to dispose of used engine oil is the utilization of blended fuel technology.